I'm Dr. Carla Sherrill. I'm an interim programming and justice support person for Resurrection MCC, and I'm clergy intern at MCC of Washington, D.C. And I'm also a coordinator. I've had the pleasure of being the coordinator uh, for Kwanzaa Daily Devotionals. And I'm here um, at home with my partner, Reverend Kathy Alexander. Uh, so uh, we have the pleasure to begin this daily devotional process. So where I wanted to begin is with just a brief history of what Kwanzaa is. Uh, for people who know and reminders, or who don't know and reminders for people who do. So Kwanzaa is a seven-day holiday that honors African and African-American culture and traditions. Um, it occurs from December every year, December 26th to January 1st every year. Uh, Dr. Maulana Karenga, who is an African-American educator and scholar and activist, is the one who proposed this observance. And um, it was first celebrated in December 1966 and January 1967. So Kwanzaa structured around seven principles that focus on family and community. A candle is lit each day, introducing a different principle. And it, um, they're presented in Swahili, which is a Pan-African language, and in English. So you'll hear that and see that during the devotionals. The principles are Umoja, Unity, Kujichagaliga, Self-Determination, Ujima, Collective Work and Responsibility, Ujama, Cooperative Economics, Nia, Purpose, Kumba, Creativity, and Imani, Faith. Our video daily uh, devotionals follow this process of highlighting the principle and doing the candle lighting. This is followed by a reading that is a devotional that encourages us to reflect on the principle for the day of the observance. Our devotionals are a joint effort between Resurrection MCC and MCC DC, Washington DC. So you will see three community members from each church. I so much appreciated uh, being a part of um, this process and so much appreciate everybody's participation in the effort from those who you'll see who videoed and presented devotionals uh, to the tech teams at Resurrection and in CCDC and other folks who lent their support behind the scenes in so many ways. So I encourage you to uh, see and look up the website links that are posted here to learn more about the Kwanzaa holiday and to do that throughout the week. And if not th throughout the week later, also um, I encourage you to attend the Resurrection Kwanzaa evening celebration that is coming up this evening. It's a Zoom celebration this evening, uh, five o'clock to seven o'clock central time. Um, then please return to our daily devotionals that will be available and sent to you throughout the week now through January 1st. So we begin our devotionals uh, today uh, with day one of Kwanzaa, and that principle is Umoja, unity. Um, so we'll be and are right now going to light the black candle, the center candle that represents this principle. And um, you'll now hear the devotional to help us reflect on Umoja, unity. This principle for the first day of Kwanzaa invites us to reflect on how we might be connected and what we might share as individuals and communities, even over time and space across the diaspora. We may consider the contributions that our ancestors and that we and others in this realm have made to family, to our communities, and to the world in service to unity. This resilience and healing that has been supported, the care for self and others within community that has sustained us when separated, 
and when together in body and mind and or spirit. We may consider the ways that each of our communities are connected because we breathe and move upon this living planet that we share. We may contemplate the state of how we care for this earth, for all the beings upon it, as we care for each other, supporting the unity that can come with lived environmental and social justice and interdependence. Today's principle invites us to know our individual uniqueness and our connection as we explore and deepen our experience of unity now and throughout the years to come. Umoja, unity. So thank you for being with us for this first uh, day of Kwanzaa. And um, we hope that you'll be able to join us throughout the, the days to come.